grain market, the soybeans were firm. That crop progress uh, report is expected to be 97 percent, and I think that uh, that kind of firmed uh, the market up and just lets us know that there's still some way to go. Uh, since the World Board will use those June planting acreage numbers on the July WASDE report, that uh, the more accurate numbers won't really be here until August. Uh, that gave the market just a little bit of a bounce. It's uh, relatively sluggish today for a Monday morning. We're waiting for crop progress report after the close uh, to find out if we'll get a little bit of a bump in the market. Maybe we'll have some turnaround Tuesday tomorrow, but there's a lot of uncertainty, and that's why we're seeing a little bit of this uh, sideways movement. Uh, as, as I said, now corn is steady. It actually even got a little bit weaker as it moved towards the close, but the weather temperature forecast uh, is pretty average going forward. But uh, to take a look at it, overnight the corn did open eight and a half cents higher that was pretty significant opening i think there was an idea that maybe this market was uh, really like oversold on friday and maybe we could turn it back around uh, but the warmer forecast however is unlikely to have really much of an effect on the market there has been a lot of talk that even in spite of the fact that we were planting uh, late that the yields are still going to be pretty plentiful. The estimates just came out now for the WASDE report. Uh, it certainly looks like we're going to have a lot of grain around, so uh, demand is going to be our number one focus. Uh, wheat was mixed today as well, maybe even a little bit lower. The export uh, shipments are very, very slow. And while the market tries to stay afloat, uh, the yield expectation is still <laughs> relatively high, and it's expected to be pretty strong. And I think that uh, in spite of the fact that we've had the lowest acres uh, of planting uh, almost uh, for the last like 50 or 60 years for wheat, uh, the, yields, the yields will still uh, produce a, you know, a pretty uh, sizable supply. So $5 remain, remains the bench part uh, for our support levels. And as we get a little bit lower, we'll see the market kind of play around with that number. Uh, let's see, until we get a little bit more information, we're going to definitely start positioning ourselves uh, before the WASA report comes uh, this Thursday.